Welcome all to a new Animal of the Week. Today's video is about the rough, due to threats being made by a certain Pokemon to invade Czechoslovakia if I didn't do this animal. The rough is an average sized wading bird species, whose males look like they're going to the opera in the 1700s. Interestingly, the name rough is actually only applied to the males, as they are the ones who possess the plumage that resembles a rough. The females are known as reeves. Ruffs migrate around the world seasonally. In spring they travel to northern Europe and Siberia to breed, but when winter comes they will head to much warmer areas in Africa and India, and the warmer parts of Europe. It is a wading bird, so will seek out marshes and wetlands to live in and breed on. As they like marshes so much, the populations living in the Netherlands and the Fens in East Anglia don't migrate and can spend the whole year enjoying the cyclists, windmills and tulips of Holland. Wetlands offer these birds a wide array of easy to get food, such as frogs, small fish and insects. When migrating it's much harder to find wetlands to get frogs and fish from, and so they will settle for eating any edible seed or insects they can find. The rough does land in search of food when migrating, so unlike many other birds that migrate, they do not fatten up that much before migrating, and they don't shrink their organs as they can feed on the go. The average lifespan of a rough is around 4.4 years, though some have lived much longer. Obviously the most defining feature of the rough is its rough, the large plumage of feathers on the male's head and neck. This is rather obvious, but they do in fact use these to attract mates. The whole courtship display is rather complex. A group of many males sit on a lek, usually a slightly raised area above the marsh. Out of the roughs on the lek, most will be territorial males, who are the largest and darkest coloured ones. Then there are the minority of satellite males, who usually are smaller and whiter, and are only there to try their luck. All the males dance around displaying themselves to the females, who will then walk up and choose mates, most of the time the territorial males. These males only tolerate the satellite males being there because a bigger group attracts more females for them to mate with. However, there is actually a third kind of male. These ones look almost exactly like females and have no rough. Their way of breeding is much more sinister. They wait for females to choose a male and open their cloaca, then get close and very quickly and sneakily mate with the females before anyone realises. This obviously has its problems, not only basically being rape, it also means that a lot of the time males will try to mate with these males, not realising they aren't females and can't lay eggs. Once mated the male does nothing more and lets the female build a nest and lay the 2-4 to four eggs to hatch in 20-23 to 23 days. The rough is the most interesting adaptation. The males do not have their ruffs on all the time, and will lose them every winter to then regrow them on the way back to the breeding grounds of Europe in summer. The rough is there to shake around when jumping and bowing to make their displays more interesting to the females. Sadly, rough numbers are declining. In the UK, they have gone almost extinct due to urbanisation and the draining of their floodlands for housing, and this trend is happening all over Europe. They face different challenges in Africa, where a lot of them migrate to. Global warming has led to many droughts in the areas they go to, leading to fewer wetlands for them to live in. The increase in temperature can also mess with their migration, as they will always migrate at a certain time, but seasons are becoming more distorted, causing them to potentially migrate to their normal area that now has the wrong climate for that time of year. Though these birds are facing hardship, their decrease in numbers has not yet reached an irreversible state, so the IUCN classes them as least concern when compared to other animals these days. Thank you for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you'd like to learn more about our world, its history and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it and if you'd like to see more from us.